Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we have got the system of equations. The very first equation is if x divided by x squared plus x plus 1 equals to a, then find the value of x squared divided by x power 4 plus x squared plus 1 in terms of a and make sure that x is not equal to 0. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution and here's the very first thing we are going to do. Since we want to find the value of this part and let's go ahead and manipulate this thing. Let's focus on the denominator part only. And here I have copied it down. Let's go ahead and find the factors of this uh, polynomial. The easiest way is we are going to manipulate it by adding x and subtracting x at the same time and now let me go ahead and rearrange them i'm going to combine these two and then i'm going to leave these one together and here i have rearranged them nicely let's focus on this part over here and we can see between these two x is in common i can factor that one out and i can write as x power 3 plus 1 and then I'm going to leave everything as it is x square minus x and then plus 1 and now let's focus on this part inside the parentheses x power 3 plus 1 and here I have copied down x power 3 plus 1 and 1 could be written as uh, 1 power 3 doesn't make any difference whatsoever and now we got the sum of two cubes so therefore we are going to use this a power 3 plus b power 3 formula and we can factor this one as x plus 1 times x square minus x and then 1 square is simply 1. Now I can replace this x power 3 plus 1 by these factors. So therefore I can write this x times, I can take care of this x cubed plus 1 as x plus 1 time x square minus x plus 1 and then bracket close and then I'm going to write down x square minus x plus 1. Now let's go ahead and distribute this one. So this could be written as x square plus x and then times this thing x square minus x plus 1 and then I'm going to write down this x square minus x and then a plus 1 and now we can see that x square minus x plus 1 and x square minus x plus 1 is in common so I can factor that one out and I can write x square minus x plus 1 outside and inside bracket is going to be x square plus x and then plus 1. So thus we conclude that this x power 4 plus x square plus 1 could be written as, as these two factors. Now let's go ahead and focus on the left hand side of this equation, this part only. And here I have copied it down. Let's go ahead and manipulate this one little bit x square at the numerator could be written as x times x and this denominator I am going to replace by these factors I can write these one x square plus x and then plus one first and then I'm going to write down x square minus x and then plus one. Now let me go ahead and chunk this right hand side and I can write into two fractions. I can write x divided by x square plus x and then plus 1 times x divided by x square minus x and then plus 1. And now we can see that this very first fraction x divided by x square plus x plus 1 is same as equal to a and now we are going to find the value of this fraction in terms of a. So let's go ahead and focus on this fraction now and here I have copied it down. Let's go ahead and manipulate this fraction. I'm going to divide the 
numerator by x and at the same time denominator by x as well. So at the numerator x divided by x is same as 1 and divided by x squared divided by x I can write x squared divided by x minus x divided by x and then plus 1 over x and this could be written as 1 divided by this is going to become x minus 1 plus 1 over x. Now let's revert back our focus on this original equation. So I can write this first part this I can replace it by a. I can write a and then times this fraction I can replace it by simplified form. I can write times 1 over x plus 1 over x minus 1. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this very first equation. And here I have copied it down and we can see that we got a fraction on the left hand side. I can make a fraction on the right hand side by just putting 1 underneath this a. Let's go ahead and flip these both sides over. So I can write this one as x square plus x plus 1 divided by x equals to I can flip this side over as well. This become 1 over a. And I can write this 1 over a on the left hand side doesn't make any difference. So on the right hand side I can write this thing as x square divided by x plus x divided by x plus 1 over x. So our 1 over a turns out to be equal to x plus 1 over x plus 1 but we want to write this one in terms of x plus 1 over x minus 1. So therefore let's go ahead and subtract 2 from both sides and I can write this one the left hand side is going to become 1 over a minus 2 equals to if we add this one 1 plus negative 2 is going to become simply negative 1. So this could be written as x plus 1 over x and this become negative 1. So thus our this original equation become the right hand side a is already there and this part I can write 1 divided by I am going to replace this thing by 1 over a minus 2 I can write 1 over a minus 2. Now let's focus on this part in the denominator. Let's go ahead and simplify this one. And here I have copied down. Let's go ahead and simplify this thing. I can write 2 as 2 over 1. Let's cross multiply crisscross. So 1 times 1 is 1 minus 2 times a is 2a divided by a times 1. We're going to multiply. That's going to give us a. And now let's focus on this whole fraction. And here I have copied it down and we know that this part has been simplified to this one. So I can write this one as 1 over 1 minus 2a divided by a. And now this fraction could be written as a divided by 1 minus 2a by applying this rule. So therefore I'm going to replace this whole fraction by this simplified form. So therefore we can write a times a divided by 1 minus 2a. Here a times a is going to become a square divided by 1 minus 2a. So thus our simplified answer turns out to be a square divided by 1 minus 2a as you can see over here. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.